Hello, my name is Data. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Where's my ship at? There it is. Alright, heading over to the squid ship. There is word of another S-class fighter, I believe. See this ship? It loves the rock. It comes down here and hugs it all the time. Okay, I'm going to head on towards the portal. We're about to receive incoming information on where the portal address will lead us, what the portal address is. Oh, yep, here it is. Incoming transmission. Yeah, patch me into Captain Data's ship. Oh, hello, Captain Data. Hope you got a good night's sleep. We have quite an adventure here for you. But I think that they, uh, hey, have you heard about, uh, what was that, Bob? Bob and Sean, the new guy, down over on the freighter. Apparently they found themselves a new music box or some kind of DJ thing and they've decided they're going to become DJs and start throwing parties on weekends when they're not on shift. Sounds like it's going to be a good time. Unfortunately for you, you are not going to be there because I'm sending you out on another mission for a spectacular S-Class ship. Designation unknown. Location verified. Going to send out some portal coordinates here in just a moment. So I want to make sure that you're all ready to go. Looks like you're working another night shift. And all right, you should have received the portal coordinates right about now. And I will contact you in just a moment. All right, you heard the Admiral. We're headed towards another super ship. Okay, let's see if I... All right, it's recharge time. Portal resurgent operation initiated. All right, fantastic. All we need is the activate the portal, put the glyphs inside, and the address will be. All right, let's see what this address is. There it is with the final portal glyph headed towards a ship. Hopefully an S-class fighter. Alright. See you on the other side. I have arrived at Uldan Prime. No atmosphere. No comm stations. No information. Hmm. Not a good sign. Okay. Try to relax, Captain Data. Everything's gonna be fine. Look for a frozen planet out there. Get off this incompatible planet. You're not safe on there. Looking for something that may or may not be a frozen planet. Reports are that it is in the system. Scan around. It's hide out in the debris field. There's something else. What is that? Yes, it is a planet, not a moon. Bountiful planet. There's another one. Sub Zero. I think that's the I one. I think that I'm might be the one. Get out. All right, head on over there. Hello, Info Omega. Crispy bacon. <laughs> You might be experiencing a time Full reversal, time. but that's okay. Yeah, in about Those are normal seconds. around here on time these scrapping will missions. Reverse. See if there's any comm beacons out there. Headed into the atmosphere. Let's see if there's any beacons, stations, comm balls. Yeah, he's made contact. There. Communication station has been discovered. I was able to stop by Sean and Bob's disco DJ party and let me tell you they got that party rocking in the house. Some of those Viking ladies were asking about you. Let me tell you they have some dance moves going on. Unfortunately you're not going to be there because we have information that this is verified an S-class ship. You're on the night mission and for 
A happy day. I'm going to send you to the day side of the planet for a day shift. All right, looks like it's the sunny side of the planet for a day shift with a spinning super duper dare devil descent directly down towards the crash site and the planet. Perhaps. Giving a moment for reality to set into existence. Looks like one lonely comball sitting out here. Readings confirmed reality is setting in. Look for one lonely comball out there as your guide. Safely exiting the ship. Let's see if there's anything decent over the crest of the hill. All right, we're getting readings, Captain Data. We're going to watch this. See if there's a ship there. Something is loading in. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we found something. Comball crashed thank you war brown for the comm station and the location it's a beauty make sure that thing shows up on the freighter that's going to be worth some good units let's check it out in photo mode look at that beauty all right well done captain data looks pretty I'll make cool. it back here safely all right, let's check it out. Class level S. Beautiful. All right, we'll take that. Looks like this is a tier one. Either way, I'm going to take it. Compare it. There is space on the freighter. I'm just going to take that right now. It's a three million dollar. All right, we're going to claim the ship. It should end up on the freighter. Very nice. I think my other ship is over here. There it is. Uh, before I forget, here's some coordinates. Minus 33.24. Minus 13376. Looks like some kind of dangerous animals appeared. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave a comp station, then I'm going to head out. Alright, I'll add another comm beacon to help locate the ship. And I am out of here. Alright, headed back towards the freighter. The ship should be on there. Party rocking in the house. Oh, hi Captain Data. When did you arrive? All right, you're going to be cleared for landing. Woo! You missed a heck of a DJ party. I definitely recommend you show up for the next one. All right, landing procedure initiated. The ship has arrived in cargo area one. It's a beauty. Thank you very much for picking it up. The crew commends you. I'm going to get some more coordinates for the next ship. We'll see you on the next mission really soon. Back on the freighter, I do see something burning in cargo area one. I'm gonna go check that out. It should be a crashed fighter. There it is. All the other ships seem to, seem to be here. All right, I'm gonna probably repair a little bit of this so that I can get some extra units. I know generally I just trade these in as they... What do I want to repair here? Okay, I'll start with that. Generally, I start out just by selling them to see what we can get as a base price. But I'm gonna repair some of this, see if I can get a little extra out of it. You are experiencing a temporal extraction where time may speed up faster than you realize. Heading over to the space station. This was originally a three million dollar return on investment from the scrapping let's see if how much repairing the pieces parts helped all 
right there it is if you want to keep it I'm gonna scrap it make sure you remember the name make sure so that the you can verify you're scrapping the correct ship heading over to the starship outfitting verifying waza waza that's correct claim scrap 1.9 million units I guess that 3 million was the how much it was worth to buy scrapping always seems to be a little less here claim scrap on the waza waza I guess it was only a tier 1 fighter even though it was S class alright let's see what we get Checking the inventory capacity vector compressor, some copper, indium, some cogs. All right, here's the augment. How many of those do we get? That's a three. All right, we got three storage augmentation, so that's cool. Those are definitely going to be worth way more than anything else we could have gotten off that ship. And this stuff is S-Class. Cyclotron, Infra Knife, Photon. Alright. That'll do it. Where's my starship? I'm gonna head back to the freighter, pick up the squid, and set up for a might have to haul some selenium over from my friend's base. I need to make some more of those circuit boards so I can make some of those stasis devices. Alright, I'm gonna head over to the freighter. There it is. Alright, we'll see you in the next video. I want you guys to have a great day and be safe out there. Happy scrapping! Don't forget to leave those portal addresses for any cool ships you might find. Bye bye. Leave your answers in the comments below. This is Admiral Apollo. We'll see you in the next mission. Transmission out.